In this video, I'm going to show you two plays out of the bunch tight end offensive scheme that are really, really nice complements of one another. They do a great job of kind of comboing and really working together to make this scheme absolutely incredible. So if you haven't subscribed yet, my name's Cody. My channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. So if you want to get better at this game alongside of me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now, for those of you that don't know, I just released an offensive ebook out of the bunch tight end um, formation. It's, it, you can run this out of multiple for multiple playbooks. And my personal preference is to run it out of the run heavy playbook, but you can run it out of Seattle. You can run it out of uh, Las Vegas. I've got Seattle booted up right here. Um, but obviously, the number one play that you must make go is the play P A uh, boot over, and I will show you the, what the play art looks like here. And this is one of the best plays in the game. Uh, and I believe that, you know, Henry was really the first person that was running this setup. And I want to talk to you uh, kind of twofold about two in particular ways that you can run this play. Uh, really quickly here, I want to make sure my coaching adjustments are properly set, as you can see here. Uh, I'm going to do kind of a standard, you know, zone drop look that most people are going to roll with. And, uh, and we're going to work out of some of these plays. But the play we're going to be talking about is PA boot over. So uh, pretty much America's defense is this nickel 335 into nickel 335 wide. We've uh, been running this uh, for most of the year. And if you want to get that defense, it's in the description as well. But I want to hit on um, this PA boot over and why it's so powerful. So the first and foremost, the reason is this is one of the most, po most popular ways that people are going to play defense on you. They're going to basically use her this crossing route to Antonio Brown. And what that's going to do is it's going to leave this delay fade. All we're going to do is put the tight end on a delay fade. And essentially, this is a rollout play. Basically, we're going to roll out. If they all run with the crossing route, then we're going to hit this route to Gronk. And we're going to go. Right? Pretty standard uh, PA boot over type of meta, right? A lot of people are doing this. Uh, a lot of people like to audible to this out of Trips Tight End or Bunch uh, out of the Seattle or the Raiders playbook. So what I want to kind of suggest to you in this video is a counter to that and a meta shift that you're going to see. So a lot of people are running one step ahead on their corners, and then they're basically using this linebacker. So in this scenario, it might look something like this, where basically they're going to take away the crossing route with these uh, flats that are at 25 yards. Now the next thing they're going to do to try to defend the delay fade is they're going to put their defensive uh, end into some type of either three rec hook zone or um, vertical hook. And you'll see here as I roll out, if I try to throw this ball, you see that it's basically covered. It's taken away. So really the key secret here that I want to share with you is another little uh, route that you can do. And I would recommend you try this not just from this play, but I recommend that you try this from other routes where you're using a delay fade. It's really a nice little uh, technique because a lot of people like to run that yellow zone to basically deal with that. So another thing that you can do, especially if you're facing a lot of man coverage, is you can put that tight end on a block and release crossing route. As you see right there, essentially what it's going to mean is he's going to essentially drag instead of streak. So he's not going to go up into the yellow zone. He's actually going to come across into another critical uh, part of the defense. So you see here, I'm going to roll out, and then they're going to chase me. I'm going to release him, and as you'll see right there, it's basically an across-your-body throw. So the one thing that you do have to realize is obviously, um, you know, if they have good if they have uh, good pass rushers, you're going to have a little bit of a tough time getting this off. But the reason that this is significant is because it allows you to really deal with either a three rec or a vertical hook, which is the most popular tactic that people are going to use to stop this. So you can use this block and release crossing route here to really do uh, a lot of good for you. Again, they're going to chase me. And even if they don't chase me, you see he does beat man-to-man. -man. Um, so if there are in man-to-man -man coverage, and let's say for whatever reason you don't get this route off, um, or you don't get the – like, let me give you an example. So let's say that they're running Mike Blitz – uh, zero at you, right? And they're just going to blitz everybody, but they're going to take this guy and they're going to basically cover the crossing route with that flat. I just want you to watch uh, how this play works. And again, I'm just going to put him on that block and release crossing route. And here I might not have the ability to roll out, but if I just release him, if you just watch here, again, if we can get him to go out, and unfortunately we didn't because of the blitz, but you'll be able to get this guy 
essentially matched up one on one, you know, with that with that man to man coverage, which should be in your favor uh, as far as how this is going to work. Now, obviously, you have all of these other routes that you can use um, to beat man to man. You have this route to Mike Evans, you have this route to Antonio Brown, this route to Chris Godwin. All of these routes do good, um, but what you'll see here again is you're rolling out, you're rolling out. He chases. And then you're going to be able to hit this this block and release cross. Now, Tom Brady's driving me absolutely insane because he can't, for whatever reason, throw the ball. But um, but you should be able to see this, and we'll show it to you right here. Again, block and release cross the tight end, motion out. They're going to chase you, chase you, chase you, chase you, and basically it's that hard left pass lead. And again, Tom Brady for whatever reason can't make that throw. But in Mutt, you're going to be able to take care of that with Randall Cunningham. Or that's gonna, you know, that's gonna be somebody out there that can make that throw for you. But this is a nice little tactic that I like to use. And there's also several other things that you can do with that. Um, but again, if you just release him, you'll see he typically does beat man to man, and then you can basically do that air truck to be able to steer him up the field. But <clears throat> this is a nice little adjustment that you can use if, for whatever reason, your delay fade is is being covered. If they're putting yellows out there, you know, then you can easily. Uh, obviously use that delay fade tactic and the delay cross tactic. They both are work very similarly. What I would recommend, though, is if you're going to use that block and release crossing route, the one thing you're going to have to watch out for, again, is when you roll out here, you know, you, you see that right there? Like, if they have any yellow zone on that side of the field, I wouldn't throw that, right? But if they don't have any yellow zones on the left side of the field and they're just rolling their coverage to the bunch side, this is a nice little tactic that you can use um, where you're going to still be able to beat man to man. You know, and again, even if you get rolled out here, you know, you can do that. They chase, and that's what we're looking for right there. So, uh, as you can see, this this route just just destroys man, destroys zone. The key is the rolling out because when you roll out, they're going to chase you. So. That's a little bit about that route. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get my full Gun Bunch tight end offensive ebook, that link is in the description. It's the best offense I've ever put together um, because of how simple it really is. It's straight to the point, very simple, and very, very effective. So if you have any questions about the Bunch offense, uh, you can always text me. My number is 812 812- 216-3644. But just a quick reminder, we will be streaming tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Time right here on our YouTube channel. So I'd love for you to come hang out with us. And if you want to get that Gun Bunch tight end offensive ebook, that link is in the description of this video.